Live at JW Solar USA at Grillmeister Dave's house. We just got done putting the batteries back together and seriesing them uh, together to make a good solid battery. Um, as you can see here, we have four positives that we connected, and then we have four negatives, so we have eight batteries connected as one, and we have them interconnected right here, the positive to the one negative, so it connects these as one battery. And so the batteries are 7.7 .7 each, and so when you interconnect them, these four uh, positives with these four negatives, it's 7.7 .7 and 7.7 .7 for each bank of four batteries that are interconnected right here. And then we go down and do the same thing. All four of these are connected. And we have the four positives interconnected at this one spot, which then connects them all together, all the way down. So you got four positive, four negative, four positive, four negative, four po you know, all the way down because it's four sets of four that I have for 16 batteries putting together. So by doing this, we're making one big solid good battery with a large number of volts and amps to power a, a fairly long amount of time. Uh, so as you can see, on this side we have all the, the negatives tied together, all the positives tied together, negatives and positives. And what you can see all four of these batteries here are paralleled on the negatives. All four here paralleled on the positives all the way down. It's center, same thing, same thing, same thing. And then they're interconnected, as you can see right here on this one side. And then what will happen to connect these and get the full use of it, we're going to take a wire from this positive, connect it to this positive. And then we're going to take a negative from this side, connect it up to here. And that will connect everything together. And then to connect to the system, we'll connect a, a cable from the positive here to the inverter and the negative up here to the inverter. Hence, the entire battery bank is utilizing everything and going out of these two points. Positive down here, negative up here. Well, you guys heard from the Grillmeister Dave. He has learned so much when it comes to this stuff. And it's a baby steps. Like we go. And I'm telling you guys, you didn't have no idea what happened with solar. And Grillmeister has learned a lot of stuff. I'm really proud of him. And now the reason why I I'm trying to teach him how to do this, he has to understand his system. Yes. He's the one that's supposed to defend his system. In any situation, I'm not going to be here. So by doing so, if someone asks him or whatever something accident about to happen, he knows how to rectify the problem. You know, to go about and troubleshoot it. And this is exactly what happened here. These are all the voltage discrepancy we had when we um, got the batteries. Okay, these are all the batteries. So all of them now, where after they've been parallel for quite a weeks because we are not in a hurry to do this and uh, they end up being at 7.7 .7 nominal voltage they're all dead in so because of they're all parallel now and we have the opportunity like he said all four we're going to beef off these batteries so let's say um, um, 66 amp hour times four so approximately about 130 something 136 uh, I don't have a calculator. You guys can help me, mathematician. So four of these is like a big giant battery, big giant battery, big giant battery, big giant battery. So this amp hour is because of this. Instead of gaining more, we series them. You lose them because the voltage is going up. So when you look at it now, this negative, uh, the positive here, has already become one, one hundred and something, whatever it is. When you times them. That's how it's going to stay. So it stays like that. It stays like that. So we end up parallel them here. 
to beef up the one thirty something. So it's gonna be approximately two hundred something amp hours. So um, Dave, whatever amp hours, if we were running a seven point seven volts um, inverter, that's a lot of power. So is a if it's a one thirty six here, one thirty six, one thirty six, ten thirty six. If it was a twelve volt two, this one's gonna be one jan battery. One giant battery, one giant battery. So it's going to be like a three strings of uh, batteries. But Dave has already explained that to you. I hope you understand it. And um, that's why I let him do all the talking. And because as we go setting up the batteries, he was learning and he was going about this. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take all these stickers. Because I left them there for him to understand what the voltage of the batteries were. Because we are not using BMS, battery management system, that's why we parallel them first. And now we already went back and series them. Parallel still, because anytime we draw power or load where we're charging these batteries, these four batteries always going to stay at the 7.7. .7. Or if you drop to 7.7, .7, it was a 6.6, .6, they're going to be all of them 6.6, 6.6. .6, if that's all it's going to discharge. They discharge at the same voltage. You're not going to discharge like being discrepancy anymore like this ones you've seen here because it's four batteries they act like one so any power that comes out from these batteries they're always going to stay balanced so that's why you want to stay away from too much series like this would have put one two three four in series that's a tw uh, uh, no that would be a 24 whatever 24 volt 8.3 8.3, 8.3, 8.3. So that'll give us about 30 point something volt, 30 point something volt, but it stays at 66 amp hours. So we parallel them, parallel them, parallel, parallel. So we series them and we're gonna parallel this. So one negative is gonna be here going to the inverter, one positive here, interconnect, okay? Interconnect. That's it. So this is how. Dave is going to be able to utilize the full potential of his battery. And I hope um, if he decides to add one more in the future, he can able to take even a, a four or four. If you want to add eight, we can just, he can just get eight batteries. If you want to add them as time goes on with money, he can buy eight and build up a stack. Okay. It's going to be probably another shorter one. Then we, we just parallel them. So that's how we're gonna end up adding everything. If we decide to go a full battery, like those are 32 batteries, we can have a two strings of those big ones. Then it can run over two days, approximately without power. Two to three days without power. So Dave, what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. You learned something and uh, it's real, always nice to know what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not like saying, I don't know, someone just put the system for me. I don't know how it works. Turn the switches on. Or Dave can troubleshoot his system now. If you can see, we have the legs on this. If we decide to keep them standing like this, okay, that will be staying like that. But he already built a box downstairs. Uh, I'm going to take you there and show you later how everything's set up there. Because how Dave's going to sit this one. It's going to go horizontal. Now it's vertical. So stay tuned for that. Well, back again at the basement, this is the box that Dave already designed for the batteries. So the battery is going to be sitting here. So if you want to put it horizontal or vertical, whatever you want to do, that's what he's going to do. So he decided to get something of this mesh right here so he can put the batteries. But I advise him, that was a good uh, deal. But the battery is sitting, they might probably bulge this thing because they're heavy. Look, I'm pushing it. So he might probably start bending this thing. He did an awesome job by putting the support on this corner so it can be balanced. I might probably say um, he can able to go back and put something here, one of these things here, and have it balanced and one in the center. By putting them in the center, that will help not to bulge all the way down. Like right now, I'm pushing it down. It's bending. Those batteries are heavy. There are 16 batteries there. So if you put on the center post here, or one solid board right in the middle, a solid board right in the middle, maybe a two by, like this guy, two by four, whatever it is, uh, four by two, and it's gonna be right on the center, then that'll give the support. The way you already have them here is good. 
it's really good so just put one here that's gonna heat all the way up here the same thickness of these and it's gonna be right on the center that will balance it so I don't know um, Dave if it's a good idea what I just said well we'll give it a try I'll, I'll, I'll kind of take little pieces apart and see how I can uh, fix it or modify it to uh, meet your what your needs are so I will work on that so you know um, this is perfect I like that I really likes it but if it sit on the wood I'll really like that too if it sits on the wood because it's balanced you know if you would have took this one probably right in the center here and we can put this battery horizontal or vertical but the way it is right now I don't know the measurements from here from this side to this one maybe they can just stand right there and fit right exactly in here so they'll hold the batteries you not know, from shaking any vibration maybe earthquake or anything and this battery is gonna be stabilized but he did an awesome job so guys tell me guys what you think and uh, in 